What's up everybody, my name is Creatives and today I will be helping you better understand the character Takeda Nobutada. Takeda is a aggressive fighting character that is able to take fights to his opponents on par with heroes like Viper Ning and Yorohime. Able to counter attack and steal opponents weapons without parrying with his F abilities and able to deal damage from a good distance with his ultimate it makes Takeda a powerhouse of a unit to be aggressive without dealing with some of the counters in the game. Let's break him down. Takeda's first base skill F1 is called Mythic Grab which allows him not to worry about blue focus attacks for the next 10 seconds. If he is hit with a blue focus attack, Takeda will grab his opponent's weapons and initiate counter attack while taking no damage to himself and siphons health based on his weapon's rarity. This skill is able to be casted mid-air. The skill has a 30 second cooldown and cannot be used while under attack. Takeda's second base skill F2 is called Mythic Grab Defend which allows Takeda to charge forward and steal his opponent's weapons while they are holding a focus attack or skill even if his opponent is not attacking. Keep in mind this variation can be interrupted by light attacks and cannot be used while being under attack. This skill has an 18 second cooldown. Moving on to Takeda's base ultimate Demonic Aid allows him to summon a demonic spirit named Furin that is able to fight for him within a certain distance around Takeda which is called the Demonic Domain. This alters your base skill into 3 charges of demonic strike with a 4 second cooldown in between strikes. Demonic strike can be aimed in the direction Takeda is aiming at and also can be used under attack or controlled and is able to move freely after casting the skill. Some things to keep in mind are that this skill only hits opponents within roughly 15 meters of Takeda's surroundings. If opponents are outside the range, it will not hit. Casting Demonic Aid also has a knockback if the opponent is near him. Landing a Demonic Strike also siphons health. If enemies are airborne by one of Takeda's previous attacks, Demonic Strike will do more damage. Takeda's second ultimate, Demonic Aid Teleport, which allows Furin to instantly knock back nearby opponents. Takeda is then able to aim at his opponents for the next 2 seconds before casting Demonic Strike Teleport which teleports Takeda over to his opponents dealing some serious damage to the target. Any enemy in range will be knocked into the air except the opponents that are in ultimate focus status also known as the goal focus and will be hit by a series of attacks from Takeda. This ultimate can be used while under attack. Keep in mind though, this skill only hits opponents within Takeda's surroundings of up to 32 meters. If opponents are outside that range, it will not hit. Even in range, if Takeda is not locked into the opponent, it can miss. Overall, Takeda is a very versatile and aggressive hero that is good for his abilities to isolate opponents with his ultimate abilities. Best used in solo gameplay as his skills give him the upper hand in various situations. Takeda is able to save himself when being parried, used as a combo extension or for a quick heal before going back into the fight with his ultimate. I personally like how versatile and creative you can be with this hero. I would recommend F1 his first base skill as Takeda would not have to worry about parrying his opponents within the 10 second window and focus more towards damage dealing instead. However, I would personally go with F2 for more combo extensions. When it comes to his ultimate, I would recommend V1 as it gives Takeda more potential and the ability to either reset a fight, not be punished, or for a combo extension depending on the scenario. That is all the time we have for this video. I hope I helped you understand Takeda Nobutada's potential in the Rocket Blade Point. See you guys next time.